What's happening everyone? I'm out at Pierce College today and I want to go through the catching position with all of you. Uh, first of all, we, we break the catching position down into three stages. Stage one is with no one on base. Stage two is with runners on first or runners on first and second base. And stage three is with a runner on third base. So now you guys know the stages and the skills in each stage. You'll, you'll begin to realize that each stage builds off one another and each skill builds off one another. So when we're working on our drills, each drill is going to be designed specifically for a certain stage in which we're catching it, right? So if we're working on receiving drills, those are stage one drills. If we're working on catch and throw drills, th those are stage two drills. And if we're working on blocking drills, those are stage three drills. So that's how we base our drills and that's how we build our skills to become better catchers. Right now we got two catchers catching bullpens and this is the best thing you can do for receiving. So the biggest thing when you're catching is you want to catch and you want to hold it. When the ball comes, you don't want to catch and have your glove move. So Well done, Lavale, real good. I want you to notice right there how he caught and held it. Yeah, hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there, Pico. Good. Good, Pico. Hold it. Well done. Well done. What we're about to do right now is one of our receiving drills. You're about to see it. I'll be feeding the catchers off from off the bench. I'm creating that downward angle just like the pitchers do. I'm using heavy, met, heavy weighted balls for the catchers to catch and hold. That way, once they catch the regular baseballs, it'll be a lot lighter and they can hold the pitch. Is it in his bag? After you've gone with your heavy balls, then you go with your regular baseballs. I'll talk to you guys about this later, what we're doing. Something you gotta pick up for your pitchers, right? Even though I'm just doing it here, if you notice that and do it automatically, you'll be much better off. Good. Next guy. All right, this next drill is called the gain ground drill. It's for our catch and throws. We work on our transfer and we work on gaining ground. After every rep, the catcher's gonna gain ground and get his feet set to make a good throw. Here we go. This next drill is called the five ball drill and it's a blocking drill and it works in a progression. We're about to take you guys through it. Here we go. Here's what we do. We get five balls in a line and then we begin our progression. The first one is a straight block and you're gaining ground. Go. Up, 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 up. Great job. Next guy. Go ahead. Now we go into our side blocks. We're blocking each ball to our left. Start offside, start offside the ball. Oh, a little more offside. Outside. Yeah, and then you're blocking to the left. Nope. These are blocks to the left. Great job. Good, once you're done with your blocks to the left, then you go blocks to the right. Well done. Right now we're working on a drill to work on our signs. Let's see it, Pico. Flash is third pitch. No, flash is 
<laughs> we just oh. finished our catching workout. I'm here with a couple of the pitchers. Gucci. Yeah, we just got in our work. So we can get them strikes and you know we can have a good year. So yeah, as the pitching goes, the program goes. So hope you guys enjoyed the video.